is I was in the studio, and I won't name his name, with a major recording platinum artist writing songs. I came up with a melody, and I contributed to almost half of the song. And there were people that were not in the studio that night. I know exactly who was in the studio. When I called their business manager to talk about splits, they said he decided to change the song so it's not going to be on the album. That song came out. It went number one. And it was the exact same song. It won a Grammy. But that whole time I was living in my car and I had to watch him give credit to somebody that wasn't even in the room, wasn't even there that night. Well, I got nothing. And I said, F you, F music, F this whole industry. I'll go find something else to do. And then I left the industry. When I left the industry, I just, I went dark. I was depressed. I was stressed out. I was like, man, they can take everything they wanted me away from me. They can't take away my car. Car was the only thing I had. So I started living in my car and didn't have anywhere else to go. And it was just like the pressure of trying to maintain an image, being seen on MTV, being seen in these other things was so difficult to maintain the image. And I was too prideful to get a nine to five job, too prideful to go back home. Cause I told everybody at home, if I come back home, you know, I fell. So what is, what is that like living in your car? Cause I've also seen you post a photo of a storage room that you were also kind of, I guess I, that was around the same time, right? Yeah. What was that like? You, where were you going to the bathroom? Um, where were you parking at night? Uh, and, uh... So um, I had a membership and I had a hookup membership. You know how those are. You don't pay everything. <laughs> major hookup. Had a hookup membership over at 24 Hour Fitness. Mm -hmm. The one in Hollywood? Hour, yeah. On La Brea, on La Brea and um, uh, no. It, was, it wasn't 24 Hour Fitness. It was LA Fitness, the one on La Brea mm. in Hollywood. Okay. Uh, so I had a hookup there. That's where I would shower. Uh, that's where, you know, if I didn't have a girl's house to sleep at, which I was always going to a club so I can find a different girl whose house I got. It was so much that I got tired of sleeping with. I was like, yo, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. So. I would just find a way, but when it get, gets to a point where you're numb with emotions, you start, you stop thinking about the monotony of everything that's going around, going, you know, just going around and I was just going down, 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 down. And I'm like, how, how did I get myself here? Like, I, I don't understand. I'm actually talented. There's some untalented people that are doing well. Why am I in the same spot? Why am I getting worse? Why am I hundreds of thousands of hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt from having not paid taxes for the last ten years, but they can't get you past seven? And all that was for my modeling money stuff because you had to pay your own taxes, and I never paid. And it's getting worse. My girlfriend breaks up with me. It's getting worse. Mom's dying in the hospital. It's getting worse. It's like, I'm, you know, I use the excuse because I'm black. It's getting worse because of the president. I'm getting worse. Yeah, you know, it, they just want to, you know, want to give a brother a chance. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And I try to take my life twice. And I didn't even, I failed it. <laughs> Maybe I should stop saying. Can it get it? Mm -hmm. And I started asking myself different questions. And I remember it was August 2011 at 3.43 in the morning. And I was like, well, maybe it's not everybody else's fault. Maybe it's my fault because I never, ever took responsibility. 
Right. Same thing I, I can't change anyone else, but maybe I can change something about me. What can I change about myself? And then finally, the tears welled up inside of me. And I just said, okay, I'm tired of fighting. I don't want to fight anymore. I want to be healthy. I want to be happy. I want to be surrounded by nothing but positive people. I just want to inspire people. And I want to make a bunch of money. But I want the money to represent something that I passionately believe in, that I would do for free. Just show me a sign. Just show me a sign. Just show me a sign. And I just kept saying it over, over, and over, over, over. A week later, I'm at a gas station. I'm, you know, it's, you live in LA, it's $4.59 for one gallon. I have $2 to my name. I can't even get a gallon, but I'm on E. And I'm in Inglewood, and I'm shooting an independent film. I'm in Inglewood. I go, and some homeless person asks me for money. I said, you have more money than me. And they said, change your mindset, change your life. I don't know what it was about that, those words. But it, like, it had resonance to it. There was energy behind it. It was something that was like, it made me think. You ever seen a movie, Sixth Sense, when he didn't even know he was dead and then he saw all these things play out? Same thing happened with me. I saw all these things played out. I was like, maybe... My life was a lie because of how I've been thinking. So what if I do different with the same circumstance? Change your mindset, change your life. Change your mindset, change your life. So that became the new broken record, the new song in my head. Change your mindset, change your life. All of a sudden, I just started doing the opposite of everything I wouldn't normally do in areas of my life where I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with my health. So I started practicing looking at healthy people and getting around a healthy, active community. I used to go to clubs every night trying to chase a different woman. So I started practicing reading books. So I placed clubs, nightclubs, with books and audiobooks. And I started practicing and doing this opposite. Normally, I'll take this, uh, the... The escalators, change your mindset, change your life. So I take the stairs. So an object in motion stays in motion. Unless a, a stronger, something, an outside force stops it. So my motion before was the way that I was living. But by training the opposite inside of me, of just doing the opposite, I staged myself outside of the way I had been living since I was a little kid. So every day since it's all, it's been 10 years. Every single day when I find myself not wanting to do something, I say, change your mindset, change your life. Get up and do it. But then once you do it for long enough, it doesn't become a struggle. It actually becomes part of you. It becomes second nature. If you like that video, you're going to love the next one. Click this thumbnail right here and I'll see you over there.